Hello, and welcome to Vagrant Hippopotamus. Today we are looking at Dragon Booster Cards from a TV show from the early 2000s. Yeah, they rode dragons. So you've never at, you've never seen this show either? Nope. I, I came okay, across... Okay, I admit, I didn't, I've didn't. i never actually seen too much of it. Like, I saw some clips of it, and mostly just commercials. Never knew they had cards, though, and... Since on this channel we open, we buy and open literally every kind of card game we can get our hands on, this was next in line. But I, did, I say that like there's some kind of order to this. I did come across a show that was released through the same company. I'm not sure if it's the same people, but Stormhawks. But that's completely oh yeah, unrelated. The, the, the person who created Stormhawks and I think that show Slug Terra had something to do with this show. Yeah, I think they, like, made this first? I've mentioned uh, Slug Terror to you before. There are cards for that show, but the only ones I could find are in Italian. This is a first edition. I believe it's Italian or something. But hey, if anyone wants to watch us open foreign cards of a weird animated show, <laughs> I mean, we'll have no idea what they what's going on with them, but we'll kinda, do it. Kind of dig the energy type symbols, like you got fire, uh... Lightning, a fist, a star. Eyes, or an eye, more eyes. Probably psychic. Psychic? I, I'm guessing that's like darkness or something. Yeah, this comes with a, a rule book, so we could actually just look it up. Oh, that was the last thing I was going to mention. Uh, where what? the heck is it? This what? was uh, printed in 2003. Yeah, I actually just asked you, should we feel bad that we're opening all of these... Uh, like old cards. Yeah, I just peeled the plastic probably off. Probably ru inherently ruining their value. Nah. This is the first edition, by the way, so it's cool to know that we and got I actually, some of the original stuff. And I actually don't think opening the box really ruins their value. And like I said, we've opened older stuff. We got we had some cards from like the seventies and eighties before. I got this for like twenty ten, twenty dollars. It had no value to begin with. Or if there was much it was about twenty dollars. Ten or twenty. 10 or 20, yes. Let's look at what's inside, huh? Actually, you know what? I think it's closer to 15 because saying 20 would be... That's good for it. What the hell? Why are there like four things of it? I don't know. There's also like a shiny cards box. All right. <clears throat> uh, pack. Let's... Okay. So we got a... I'm guessing it's another fighting uh, battlefield. Is that what you call it? Playmat? Yeah. A play, Matthew? Okay, so this is like a poster with the entire collection of cards listed at the bottom here. You know, if you want to look for the cards. Um, There's a good amount of them, apparently. Yeah, you know what? You all, you all might want to actually just look this up. I'm not getting close enough or spending that much time on it. 266 cards in total. <clears throat> I mean, not it's not a whole lot compared to some, uh, to, compared to some modern games, but it it's It feels more... like another weird, like, half- Matt kind of thing because it all just runs off the edge. Like you have discard, race deck, dragon deck, damage file. Is it this? <clears throat> Wait, no, then it'd be upside down. You know what? Whatever. And I you don't have zone know. track and mag pit, which I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's look at the mag uh, menu. Menu? You yeah. mean book? Book, yes. Booklet? Booklet. And, um, oh, you know what? Here, start looking through it. I'll be right back. All right. Dragon Booster, the TV show. You can find it on Toon Disney, ABC Family, and Gen X. Sorry, I had to turn the dryer off. For some reason, a lot of our videos happen when we're doing freaking laundry, and that gets annoying. <laughs> like, I feel I get self-conscious about that happening in our videos. So, so you know, if, if you can find the show, watch it. It's important. That, that'll that keep the show running. Yeah, it's important enough to have a whole 39 episodes. Yeah, I remember got... when Gen X was a thing. I love Jetix because I could always watch season two of Digimon again. All right, so you knew what thing, what Jetix was, but like half the shows that were on it, you had no idea existed. No, and I always caught it like really late at night. Again, when Digimon season two was playing, despite the fact that it was long after season four had already aired fully. Like that's when uh, I started I remember watching when, it. I remember when season four was airing still, and I, I would come home from four. school and watch uh, yeah. the episode on for that day. None of my friends stuck with Digimon after season four came out. I mean, Unrelated, but you know. Uh, back to this. Got a bunch of information here. You know, wasn't Battle Beatemon also on Jetix? Possibly. Like I, I know I showed you that series before Freak. too. It was the one with the little like 
Gundam looking robots that shot marbles out of their stomachs. Uh oh. And it, I believe it was originally a uh, Bomberman spin off, but it kind of spun off into its own thing. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Yeah, I got a little distracted too, but uh. I mean, it's JetX, so. You know, it shows that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They also made books. Oh, yeah, there are some books. It says it's supposed to come out in 2005. You know, if that wasn't like almost 20 years ago, so. You can find all probably 10 or 15 books, I think, that said that there were. There were a lot of them. And there's like four seasons, which added up to 39 episodes. Wait, there were four seasons? I think that's... Maybe it was three seasons? thought he said four, but... Oh, yeah! Chaotic was on JetX, too! <laughs> I didn't even know that was a show. Like, I, I know about the cards. We keep finding them, and then they keep selling out really fast. I'm telling you, instead of buying the four main decks for $120, we should just buy the separate decks. Oh, and they had toys. And, and this... Uh, they had a lot of stuff for a series that really didn't get much attention. This apparently was like the biggest killer of the series because like nobody would buy the toys, so they just gave up on the show and then everything just kind of fizzled out after that. There was also a game. Yeah, there was a video game. Like a video game, yeah. Wow, they're getting really specific with some of these ads and it's like every other page. Afternoons at 4.30. So did we actually see what the element types are so far? Or I don't remember seeing it, but... Wait. Uh, Wait, what? Maybe we shouldn't be reading that part yet. <laughs> oh, that's the alphabet. Oh, oh well, there's an alphabet, alphabet there. Yeah, because they mentioned they made it. They mentioned uh, it was mentioned in a video we actually just watched. I totally uh, forgot about that. The Jordan Fringe video, I believe, right? Because yeah. we watch actually a lot of his YouTube videos for uh, stuff like this when he makes videos on older series that. Just happen to have cards. We kind of wa we watch them to just kind of refresh our <clears throat> well. We watch them so I can refresh my memory of them, and Noel can just kind of get an idea of what they were like because oh, okay. you watched practically nothing as a kid, apparently. Oh, I watched a lot of things, just nothing you would want to watch. Anyways, are, oh, are those like? Wait, move your move dragon your thumb. flares. Oh, those are teams. Uh, dragon I, army of the remember, dragon. This is NASCAR with dragons. <laughs> uh, inner order. Grip of the Dragon and Pen Racing. Have you watched IGBX, I think it was, which was uh, NASCAR with mechs? Oh, I got I got a disc of that in the mail. It was really weird. I don't know. I liked I've never the seen it on TV. I liked the concept. I tried watching it a bit. It was on Toonami when we were younger. I tried watching a bit of it. I didn't care for it, but yeah, the idea of, me of racing but with mechs is really cool. I just don't think the show was, itself is all that interesting. <clears throat> okay. Because this one is a demo game. I, I don't really know what that means. Oh. Let me, uh... What the hell? No, is this that's... more freaking instructions? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm... Oh. Yeah, this is a demo pack of 13 cards. I don't... Why do you need a demo pack if you've already bought, like, Frick. an entire started... Oh, my God! It is not folding out correctly. Okay, here. This is 20 years of being folded in plastic, people. 21 years? Yes. Jesus Christ. Ooh, how to win. How do we win? Exhaust all rivals, okay? I think that basically just means use up the cards, Reach the right? finish line of 30 points. You know, I was actually wondering, how do you how do you make a show about racing into a card game? Like, do you just fling the cards across the table? I mean, it looks like there's a whole list here, but, uh... Ooh, Zap Cap. A hey. Crew cards. Stats. I'm sorry if I'm shaking. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? Can we, like, just hold it up to the camera? I can't hold it up like that with one hand, or just don't do anything. Uh, let's... let's er, uh, like, lay it, this... on, lay it on the table so I can, like, actually stand, like, up and record it. Yeah, it's just, or, like another... Kind of section? Wait. Yeah, it's wait. like another type of board here. Okay, yeah. This is weird. Yeah, they're two separate types of fighting zones. Like, if anyone wants to read this, pause. I'm not going to stay on this stuff, and you might need a second to actually get a, a proper screen anyway, because I'm holding this with one hand again, obviously. <laughs> There's a lot to take in here. I'm not even sure why I'm doing this. I don't think anybody cares about how to play this game. I mean, if people know it exists, 
it's cool to show it off. But who knows? Maybe some people don't know it exists. Oh, my God. What? Some of the parts of these cards are actually in the show language. Wait, for real? <laughs> okay, let's get to the cards. I think we've... Uh, yeah, we're 10 minutes in. Jesus. Boards. There's a lot to this series, apparently. And we've still got, like, three packs to open uh, because it's split it into shiny three cards. packs for whatever. This feel, don't, these don't feel like cards. But yeah, see? Look at this. Not really. Well, this is enraged. Yeah, oh, so it's, all, so it's also in English for us that didn't take... Uh, Dragonese. Dra dra yeah, who didn't take Dragonese in high school. Or, or the Draconis language. I don't, I don't know how you... Speak Beak dragon, whatever. Golden wingspan. Wingspan. It's a constant, apparently. If your dragon is yeah, constant Bayou, <laughs> this card is all colors. <clears throat> I, I don't know what any of that means, but cool. Charge. Oh, th this was uh, one of the important cards. Oh, man, the Gadgetinis. Sorry, I'm still looking at... Uh... Jetix shows. I guess there was an Inspector Gadget show. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I don't... Here's Mag Kick. <laughs> I swear, growing up in, like, the 90s and 2000s like we did was a freaking time because they made shows about basically just anything. Shows and card games. You're next. <laughs> yeah. If your dragon is Bayou, because they keep mentioning that one specifically, you're rushing oh. card games... Two points plus two sprint this battle. Yeah. What? That was also this was also on uh Jetix. Magi Nation. Why does that sound familiar? We did a, a video on the cards like a year ago. God, they made a show of it? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Huh. We watched the I think we watched the Jordan Fringe video on that too. Ooh, like boy. I said, we I don't know, we didn't use to uh, mention other YouTubers because we weren't sure like if people would appreciate it but I don't know Jordan Fringe has a lot of interesting videos on old cartoons and, and he's probably a lot more thorough with the information it's well, like I said we just watch it to get it kind of a ref if he has one on these series that we're doing card openings for just so we can kind of get a refresher on what the series was even like this is the red thruster gear it looks like a flying device of some kind. And more Yeah, the thing is, I guess this show had incredibly extensive lore. Oh, this one's sideways. Which is kind of too bad that it was so short-lived. Dragon eyes. What do you what do your dragon eyes see? Uh, we just call them eyes. <laughs> Captured. I mean, that's that's what it looks like what happened. <laughs> Ooh, World of Quest. Sorry, I'm... Ambush at the stables. Uh, constant <clears> card. <throat> this card gains plus three sprint if your dragon is deception. I think it's deception. Oh, sorry. One more interruption about Jetix. Apparently, Jetix in India had shows like American Dragon Jake Long, G.I. Joe Sigma 6... Frickin' Goosebumps. Is that even a cartoon? It, uh, I didn't say they were all cartoons. Oh, they had some of their own car shows, too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely something. Sorry, I, I'm just... We, we should just look at this later. <clears throat> I, I just find it interesting. I mean, we can definitely look into it. Uh-oh! That's all this card says. There's no way all of this oh. says uh-oh. I mean, you don't know that it could. <laughs> Damn it. Like, ah. Uh. Like, take Japanese, for instance. There can be a lot of characters in Japanese for very few words. I know, but, like, like it even shows uh -oh. in the book that it's specifically, <laughs> like... Oh, it's specifically the... Individual letters for each the thing. Roman alphabet? Greek alphabet? English alphabet. Like, it's it's individual letters for each thing here. So if, if I wanted to know what that said, it's, that's Maybe that like, doesn't say what the name of the card is. I don't think it does. Like, give me a sec. Yeah, you can take that. I'll give go to the next one. Ah, yes, I see. Oh, man, the Bionic... Nope, Binoc Recon. 
I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Uh, look at the top six. Yeah, because this, this is an M. All right. Um, look at the top six cards of your rival's race deck and rearrange them. I'm guessing oh, you so have you just to, get to fuck up their day. Gotcha. I'm guessing you have to understand the cards a bit better than this. To hey, get hey, hey. Through, but... We sifted through the rules briefly. <laughs> Word pain. Oh, that's an A. God damn it. This card is clear plastic. Is it? This card is not clear plastic. Oh. Okay, this is a demo card. The actual card is clear plastic. What? Oh, I thought it was it was a character card of the character named Clear Plastic. Funky. Hmm. Okay, discard the top card of your rival's race deck when you win a battle against that rival. All right. Let's get to the next pack here because there's still uh, four more to go through. Okay, I'm still translating. Take your time. You know, let me use your phone because it's hard to remember all these freaking... Oh my god! I've got like five letters on it. I mean, that's good. Oh, I also didn't look at the back. I like to do that, as you know if you've watched other card videos. This is what the back of the Dragon Booster cards look like. I haven't watched other card videos, but continue. <laughs> if you haven't, you should have. Anyways, brave your fears. Oh! What? Didn't even have to try and do all of it. This says Maneuver. I think that's the kind of card that it is. This is a Maneuver card. But yeah. This is M-A-N-E-U-V. And then the last two letters of Maneuver. E-R. Sure, let's go with that. You're probably wrong, but whatever. And, and let's so yeah, that's So yeah, that's, it's, not the it's not the name of the card. It's what car kind of card it is. Oh man, if, if I had... So that is a Maneuver card. If I had like enough stuff I could give away for free. I'd, like, give challenge somebody cards? to, like, figure out every single word on every card, and then we'd, like, give them something away for free. First of all, you don't need to say, like, 50 times in two sentences. Second of all, there's probably, like, four or five different kinds of cards. If it just says what kind of card it is, like, that's the same word, dude. That's oh, shit, not... you're right. Again, it's just the type of card, like... Okay, Huh. Yeah, like I said, that card is a maneuver card, so it has maneuver on it. Okay. Because uh, it's a racing ser it's a racing series, so maneuvers are a thing. Okay, that makes sense. Um, your rival gains no points if you do not have a rushing card in this battle. Do you say rushing or Russian? Rushing. Oh, with okay. a G, rushing. Okay. <clears throat> Magburst. And yeah, that's the same symbols again. So, good. We are starting to see a pattern. Okay, this is five letters with EV. I assume that's event. Wait, uh, yeah, event. it e has e, e twice. Yeah, it's event. So this is look an event that. card. Okay, you didn't even need to look at the like decoding for that one. That's this is probably no. I looked at again. the decoding for the first like two letters, and I'm like, well, a five letter word that starts with EV. Okay, total, like it's event. total Recall, like that awesome 80s movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is a, another maneuver card. Based on the also awesome short story originated by Philip K. Dick. Yes. And I actually knows. haven't read the original short story, which I probably should. Double dart. Yeah. It's the double dart maneuver. I assume that's just code for them cheating, but... Let's see, it's a constant. If you win a battle with this card, gain points equal to the number of your crew instead of the difference in sprints. Not 100% sure what that means, but I'm guessing that's a bunch of racing logic words. Here's <laughs> nudged. Nudged. I'm not really sure. I was nudging a maneuver. It's when you're trying to push the other dragon out. Why is it dragging? Dragon racing. Like... <laughs> because car racing wouldn't have made sense in a world with dragons, obviously. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. Nudged. All right, dragon eye power. Oh, man, mag kick, you're next. Right hey, it's here. like... Oh, wait. It's the guy. It's like the main bad guy, I think. Oh! God damn it. It's gone. I think this is uh for that little selection of cards we had... Maybe, oh. or something. I don't know. Anyway, 
Oh, well, we've got doubles already. Well, we'll get to that. But yeah, I was saving the joke. It's like my face when I use dragon eye power. Uh. <laughs> Look, it was two. It was the two early two thousands. Uh, CG animation was definitely not there yet for a lot of series. And this is like when CG was this was hitting the mainstream. Like we were kids when this show came out. This was good back then. But again, this was good, and now it's things. It, and now it's like kind of quality you could probably find made by very few or even one person on YouTube. Okay, yeah. So this is an event card. I'm learning. I don't know how budding in is an event either. If a rival has at least two maneuvers, <laughs> the word, in the zone... Ah, they said the word! Move one of your maneuvers to the track... M maneuvers from the track to the zone if it has not been in the zone oh, this turn. The track is where you place your maneuver oh my cards God. face up from your hand. That was a lot of words, and I screwed myself up along the way, but anyways. You also have your race deck that it mentioned earlier. Oh, man. Your race deck contains only events and maneuvers. So, oh, so this is kind of like Chaotic, where you, like, split your cards up into different piles, it sounds like. All right. The gang's all here, like that awesome Dropkick Murphy song. I mean, I'm more of a Flog and Molly guy myself, eh, but sure. Same. <laughs> what? They have a few good songs, like, uh... Time to go. Flog probably. and Molly? Flog uh, and Molly has a... No, no, has, they have like a dozen... I was going to say, Flog and Molly songs. has like entire albums of great but, but music. Like, no, I'm talking about Dropkick Murphys though. Like the first song I ever heard them was Time to Go, which is an amazing song. And The Gang's All Here is just a decent album in general. But Flog and Molly has way too I many mean, good songs I like songs the song about mention. the guy losing his leg or some shit. So probably not The Devil's Dance Floor. No, that I'm talking about Flog... Uh, Dropkick Murphys. Oh, so I actually do know songs by that. Yeah, I know. I I never said I didn't. Ooh, Devil's Dance Floor is a great Flogging Molly song, though. Oh. It is. My favorite song by Flogging Molly would be The Likes of You, which I'm pretty sure he wrote about his dad. Yeah, I think I actually heard that on a live album I had because he didn't have a good... The singer didn't have a good relationship with his dad. No, but it's a wonderful song. Anyways, this is Blocked. I thought that was a sword, but I don't think that's a sword anymore. Oh, shit. Let's hurry up through these, because we've still got, like, two packs, and we're tw more than 20 minutes in. Oh, man. Ancient might. Ancient face. Yeah, it might. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, up and away. Yeah, it is. I forgot the second up. Get, I give you power. And I'll take it away. Oh, my God. The quest. The end of the quest. We aren't even going to ask <laughs> what it's for. Headstrong. Take you on. <laughs> Hey, trap sucks. <laughs> I mean, obvious. I think it's more just the singer who's a piece of shit. Dude, like, I don't think anybody else is an original member in that band anymore. Like, nobody wanted to work for him. Why? Did he try and fight everybody? Because that's what it sounds like he does to his fans. That's all he ever does. Anyways, here's Ariel Assist. I could fist fight you. I'm literally just asking for an autograph. <laughs> he would. Also pretty sure his name is Chris or Nick or something stupid like that. Ugh, Chris and Nick are literally the worst names. Oh, man. I would never associate with anybody named Chris or Nick. Those are trash names for trash humans. <laughs> knowing one of our, knowing your one of your brothers is Nick and one of our, and a regular that we mention on the channel and sometimes have is Chris. <laughs> Here's Snort. Huh, Avery does this to us a lot. I was gonna say I can't think of a better. Na I can't think of a joke for this one. <laughs> Bring in the lackeys. They look like lackeys. Wait, oh, why that. does he have like a triple mohawk? Does he? Oh, he does. He has a trihawk. That's so freaking stupid. Oh, man, and he has. Oh, those are braids. But he has like a single mohawk. Yeah, that's what kind of mohawk hey. you should have as a freaking single one. Yo, he has that dragon eye symbol on his forehead. He must be part of that cult. Why does it have to be a cult with you? Hey, if it's a group of people following a specific kind of order with a very... It's called a doctrine, okay? It's a cult. Dragon joust. Because jousting never went out of style even 2,000 years in the future. I'm just saying, like, cults are... All, a lot of cults have some kind of religious aspect to them... Or a lot that are mentioned, so yeah. a religious thing would be, the proper would would pro word would be doctrine. All right. Anyways, dragon joust. Maybe I don't know. I'm not a cult expert. Pack race. Wait, are groups of dragons called packs? Um, battle 
When you win this battle, damage a rival's gear that has a level lower than the number of your crew. I'm guessing you want a pretty high level to crew if that's the case. All right. Oh man, it's it's one of the main characters. You know, I've been flipping through the book over and over again while we've been talking, trying to find exactly what differentiates things like event and maneuver cards, and I just cannot find it. Here's the perfect pair. That's that's one of the main characters, and apparently she's like one of the best racers in the entire series. Is she one of the main characters? I thought Or she maybe was she's an, just a reoccurring. I thought she was book. like an important character, but she's also kind of a dick. Hey, he's also in the book, that are this woman's name is Cudgel. Yeah, that is Cudgel. Like, why are we naming our our kids in the future after like fucking weapons? God, I'm gonna name my kid Cudgel. Hey, Cudgel, get over here. <laughs> gonna take that double out? Yeah, why not? We already showed Dragon Eye power. Here is Loop de Loop. Cause you know it wouldn't be racing without a Hot Wheels circle. If you think that's pr that's good, you should watch Battle Force 5, one of the Hot Wheels TV series. Oh man, the power of emotion. You Ooh. know, this this series started the whole, you need love to defeat evil. Oh no, that's been a thing. <laughs> I know. Domination. That's the power of love. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's keep going now. Never lose heart. Dragon heart? Is, is he we have... We have all of those movies. This bro's just like hanging off his dragon. The dragon looks nervous. He's like, dude, hang on. We're moving really fast. Don't fall. <laughs> Air tackle. Do the dragons really give a crap about the humans that are just like using them as race cars? I mean, I'm assuming the ones that let you ride them actually care about you. At least that would be my hope. Wall of flame. Sounds like a black metal song. I, I went there. I've, se I've seen uh, How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Vision of Fear. That, that also sounds like a black metal song. Dude, anything could sound like a black metal song if it's trying to be dark or edgy, or both. The Down City Council. It sounds like a punk rock this song. This doesn't look like a any council I would follow the rules of. I dig it. Super Champ. Those people, the, count, the Down City Council look like they're going to uh, frickin' Comic-Con at 5, and then at 9 they're gonna go over to the black metal concert. Oh. We Next have door. our second double. This is Aerial Assist. We had that earlier. Oh, man. Wraith Dragons. Oh, cool. Are those the evil ones? These look sinister AF. Yeah. You know, sinister as fuck. Let's keep going. Hot stuff. <laughs> why, why is this trophy glowing? Is that what's hot? Like, did somebody heat up this trophy before throwing it at him? Oh, no, it's hot. I can't catch that. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he already tried to. <laughs> he burnt his hand. Ah! Burns his face like Doctor Doom did in the comics. Oh no! Just putting the insanely hot mask on his fucking head before it. Wait, is that how it happened? Yeah, I like I sent you the thing. That's actually how it happened. At least in one comic, I think. I don't know if that was from the original comic, but yeah, that was from a comic. The straightaway, you know, because it's dragon racing. They're they're racing dragons. Group up. Oh, friends. Yeah, there she is again, hanging out with uh, those two, whose names I'm forgetting. I forgot all their names. Cool. Occasional allies hang out with the protagonists. I want to believe his name is Rick, but I don't I'm going to just call him it. Acro Dash like this card. That's a lot Dash. cooler of a name and kind of more fitting for a <sighs> weird, like, future dragon race show. This is the main character's, like, best friend, but he's also more of a reoccurring character than a main character. He's also, like, really nerdy with electronics and shows up sometimes. Because, you know, every animated series needs that kind of character. They need the funny, intelligent character. Yoink. The one that people aren't actually supposed to take seriously until, wait, we should have taken you seriously the whole time. Holy crap, he's smart. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, breakout. Wasn't that basically what happened in uh, Static Shock until his friend actually got powers and became smarter? Something like that, yeah. Like he was just the fucking comic relief white character? Busted. Yes. So that... Then he was the comic relief white character with pa with super intelligence? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not again. <laughs> Not again? Oh, no. And anyways, one thing I do remember is this guy here, his uh, brother, the little one with the red hair, they're brothers. Yeah, the little one with the red hair is a, gu is a guy. 
I thought it was a girl at first, okay? I mean, I thought so too, at least as far as the show in context goes, but... The show continuity? Until we heard know? his name, and it's like, oh, it's a boy. Okay. Zach. <laughs> I don't I think it was... God, I think it was like Rick or something. <laughs> I don't think it was Zach or Rick. C-H-K, C-H-K. Maybe it was John. <laughs> I don't think it was that either. John Those Redhead are really, kid. Those are really plain names, and they don't fit this the aesthetic of this show. Fine. Eldrick. Eldrick? Eldrick? Yes. That's just Eldrick and Rick combined. <laughs> I try. You can't have. You can't always have it your way. His name isn't fucking Rick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, intimidating landing. Yes. Surrounded. Did we get this card? I don't think we got this card yet. I don't believe so. No, it don't. I don't think we did. Uh, power resurge. Another one of them big mouth dragons. Hey, it's so green. I mean, you do like green. Caught in the act. Yeah, doing some kind of like lion circus routine. Like, why, why is he standing on a stage looking thing? Maybe they're going to make him jump through a hoop. Ooh, the main character's name was Arthra. Arthra? Yeah. Maybe his brother's name will be Rick Ra. Oh my god, no! <laughs> why is it always Rick? How about Richter? <laughs> oh my god, just stop with Rick! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Flamefall. I'm assuming she isn't a good person, but I could be wrong. Also, she has a fire sword, which is always badass. Oh, his brother's name was Lance. That's not even close to Rick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, strength of a mountain. <laughs> I'm still laughing about Rick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the their dad's name was, Pe was uh, Connor. You know, I'm not going to lie, three doubles isn't bad. Oh, Headstrong, that makes four. Aerial Assist, that makes five. Wow, this is weird. Snort, six. <laughs> Bring in the light, seven. Uh, Dragon Joust. Well, thank God they put most race. of them at the end. Perfect Pair, good lord. Ooh, this is new. Stealth Slam. It's like invisible. Do dragons can go invisible in this series? Like I said, I never actually watched an entire episode of this show. I mostly just knew about it through commercials. Fans of this show, how does this dragon go invisible? Maybe the different dragons have different powers, because some of them look slight. They look uh, at least slightly different. I mean, I'm glad I at least found one that wasn't a freaking uh, double in this. Oh, barrel through. Barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel through. Constant to gain one point when it's you damage the rival's gear. Okay. Dracron. That's also new. Good. Very good. Oh, is, my is, god. Is Drac like an offensive term for their mounts? Illusionary fear. Do dragons have rights in this in this world? Well, according to uh, the story information, they are basically just as conscious and understanding as we are. The only problem is there's a language barrier that for whatever reason, neither side over the 2,000 years of nearly coexisting together somehow never bothered learning. So it's like if, so it's like if somebody went to another country, they would just be enslaved and used to, and be ridden around like a horse. I mean, <laughs> is that is that? Well, I don't know. Look at Skyrim. You got Khajiits. The uh, Khajiits aren't ridden around like horses. Horses are ridden around like horses. Here's the power of the order, and, and it's uh. If this is how things work in Lance. other countries, I'm never going to France. France? <laughs> Why France of all places? <laughs> I don't know. I want to go to France. You know why? They have a... Uh... Pork sausage? No. That, those... They have cannolis. Mm. That's Italian. Oh, fuck France, then. I've watched an episode of Arthur before. <laughs> I just buy my cannolis from Walmart. I never said I was cultured. They're authentic cannolis from Italy. Cannoli. Oh, <laughs> these are those clear plastic cards. As you can tell, it's sort of Oh, Jesus, dude. What the hell? They're what? very stuck. 20 years of sticking. Listen to this. Stuck together plastic ASMR. Uh, anyways. Oh, it's over. They're all unstuck. <laughs> That's not the... Oh, okay. So this is what the back looks like, which makes this the front. This is a uh, fraction with Lance Penn. I guess their last name is Penn. That would have been good to know from the start. But hey, these are pretty neat, actually. Also, this looks like his dragon. Wait, Lance gets a dragon? 
That's much too dangerous for a hey. small child, hey. an itty bitty baby child. Stop that. Oh, wouldn't be a card opening if Avery didn't make an appearance. Hi, Avery. <laughs> he okay. wants to go to bed soon. Oh boy. Is this. This is a. Uh, kind of confusing at first. Okay. Brown battle armor. Oh, this is a human armor. Cool. When your rivals would damage any of your other gear, put that gear into your dragon deck instead. So you essentially get to recycle it. Nobody cool. recycles anymore. Avery, leave the bananas alone. He sees them. He wants them. Avery? <laughs> like, he had his beak open, but then just stuck his tongue out like he's just going to jab it with his tongue lightly. I was getting angry because I'm moving it away. Blue Dragon Star Gear. We gotta use those bananas before they go bad. I don't I know. know why we haven't been eating them. <laughs> He's trying to find a way to them. It's like a cage. He just doesn't know how to get out. Blue Balance Gear. When one of your maneuvers is discarded from play, look at the top card of your race deck. You may discard that card. I heard that. You know, it actually makes sense that you use a proxy card since... Having these in your deck would be kind of bullshit. It's like, oh man, I wonder what I'm going to draw. Oh man. It can't be one of my almost completely see-through cards. Ares, I think. A-R-E-S. Oh, if it has the dots, then it's an abbreviation, so you just say A-R-E-S. Uh, damage this gear when you would lose to exhaustion to keep from losing until the end of turn. And I'm joking, you just... If it's a... Oh, no! Oh, no. The ins the extra instructions, you little jerk! Bro, we, we use that for fighting. Like, on. It's a, it's a card fighting mat. You're just waving your hands around and yelling at him. He's confused. Hi. Anyways, uh, that was all of the dragon card decks. Dragon Booster. The trading card game. Very much related to the books, games, and TV show. Oh, crap. So, yeah, that was good and all. And I hope you enjoyed watching as we now follow He's going the after bird. you. Hey. Oh. Yeah, this ran a little bit longer, but we haven't been doing as many card videos because we've hey, been waiting hey. on these and other cards that we've bought to just get here. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in our next one.